Hi, my name is Nevin Welty. I'm with the Division of Environmental Services with the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. And today I'm going to go over a couple of tips on how to identify freshwater mussels. For many people, when they see a mussel in the stream or river, it kind of looks like a brown, round piece of gravel. In some cases it can be rather large, like a piece of cobble, or rather small. Fortunately, not all mussels are brown and round, although some are, and then they make us crazy. But a lot of mussels have different shapes or sculpturing. So when I say sculpturing, a mussel may have what are called knobs or ridges or like a bunch of different uh, pustules. Like in this case, this is the three horn warty back. And you can see it has one, two, three horns. And they're almost not quite mirror images of each other. So that's one way to help key in on a mussel is look for unique sculpturing or pustules. Other mussels have a unique shape. This, for example, is the rabbit's foot. So you might think, well, how is this a rabbit's foot? But if you're a hunter or if you just enjoy walking in the snow, if you look at these uh, shells as they lay down, they kind of look like a rabbit foot track. Other mussels have uh, sculpturing like ridges. So this mussel is the aptly named three ridge. It has one, two, three ridges. Sometimes there can be more, sometimes there can be less. Um, other mussels are actually uh, differentiated by males and females. So females will tend to be rounded on the posterior margin for brooding her glochidia or her eggs. And males tend to be more pointed and narrow at the tip. So although these are the same species, they can look very, very different. Both of these animals here are fat monkeys. Here on the Shenango River, we have about 24 species of mussels. The Shenango River is also pretty unique in that it has the most number of endangered species in Pennsylvania in one stream. There's eight endangered species here. Other streams like French Creek have a lot of endangered species, um, but not quite as many. Broadly, the Ohio River has 54 species of mussels, including 11 or 10 species that are state or federally endangered currently. In the Delaware drainage, we have one species that's endangered and about 12 other species that coexist with that species. In the Susquehanna, we have about 12 or 13 species. In the Potomac, we have eight or nine. The Genesee, even though we have a very small portion of it, has about two or three species. 